at the beginning of Hostel Film, two college students are shown. One is Paxton and another is Josh. Both of them have actually come to visit in Europe. In Iceland, they find their friend Oli. They go to Amsterdam together. They return to their hostel late at night after leaving a nightclub. The door was closed and nobody was opening it, so forcibly they have to stop outside. In the same time, their neighbor named X calls them in his flat and they go in there. Alex advises them to go to a hostel in Slovakia, where they will find a lot of girls, and they already came from America to Europe for luxury. Listening to him, they set out for Slovakia on the train the very next day. On this train, they meet a businessman. While he was eating, his hands were shaking a lot. Seeing this, they get amazed because this man seemed strange to them. Then they start talking to each other. While talking, the man puts his hand on Josh's leg, which makes Josh's very angry. He cries at him and that man leaves from there. In a short while, they reach their destination, that is, is Slovakia. As they reach the station, they see that there is no one except them, and the station is vacant. And they go to the same hostel, and they see girls everywhere. Seeing them, they become very happy. After that, they go to their room, and there they meet Natalia's and Vedlana in their room. And both of those girls invite them to go spa. They become agree and go to the spa behind them. After that, the girls take them to the dance club. They have a lot of fun, and then Josh comes out of the club to get some fresh air. Then the criminal children of this community surround them and demand money withdrawal. Then the same businessman comes there and throws the money in front of them. Those children run away with the money. Josh thanks him and offers him a drink and excuses for his behavior on the train. He says to Josh's that this is what you should do as old as you are, and all you have to do is bear your anger. What else could he do? Holly, on the other hand, takes a girl on reception somewhere with him. When they wake up in the morning, they are both very happy. They had had more luxury than they expected, but they couldn't find Eili anywhere. They try calling him, but his mobile wasn't responding. The receptionist tells them that Oli's has checked out in the morning, but this was totally out of their understanding. Then a Japanese girl named Skenna comes to them and shows Oli's and her friend's picture on mobile. She informs them that Yuki, who is also missing, was sent to her by a friend in the morning. After some time, they receive a picture from Oli's number with the message as I go home on it. But the reality was different. Someone separated Oli's head from his body. As well, he was torturing Yuki too. On the other side, Paxton and Josh plans to escape from there with Tenna. This is when Natalia and Svetlana arrived. They asked them to go to dancing club. Josh had no mood to go anywhere, but Paxton still wanted to enjoy. So he makes Josh agree too. In club, these girls feed them something. Due to which, Josh's physical condition worsens and he come back to the hostel. As soon as he reaches his room, he becomes unconscious. Also feeling sick, Paxton goes to the storeroom instead of the bathroom and its door closes and he ends up locked in it. When he regains consciousness, he could hardly see. He sees that someone has locked him in a room and many instruments are around him. Firstly, someone takes off his mask and makes two holes in his chest with drill. He was none other than that businessman. He tells Josh's that he always wanted to be a surgeon, but he never became because his hands always shivered. Josh requests him to show mercy, but he cuts his feet from back and opens the door of frontal room. He unties Josh's hands and feet and says that he's free now, he can go. Josh tries to run from there immediately, but he wasn't able to run due to mutilated feet. He falls off and try to escape by crawling. But that man kills him by cutting his throat. Paxton wakes up too and returns to the hostel and learns that he had supposedly checked out. Hearing this, he gets shocked because he had not made any checkout. He asks for a new room on rent and he's given a new room. He asks about Kana, on which receptionist replies that she also has gone in the morning. Paxton comes to his room and same things start happening to him. As he comes to the room, he meets two girls who invited him to go to the spa. Everything seems strange to him, and he also gets amazed. He tries calling Josh's, but of no use because his cell phone was switched off. 
After it, he goes to the police station and files a report, but they also refuse to help him. He comes back to hostel and asks Natalia and Svetlana's about Josh's. At first, they dodge him by talking here and there, but when he gets angry, they tell him that they saw Jusha's in an art exhibition. Natalia's takes Paxton to an old factory where many rich people and their guards are present. When they get in, they see that that man had mutipulated Josh's body brutal. He was performing some kind of surgical operation on him. Before he could do anything, security guards come and take him out of there. Paxton sees people being tortured all around him, and everyone is crying. They tie Paxton in the same room and ask him to speak something. As soon as he speaks, guard says that he's an American and leaves. After this, a man starts torturing him and cuts his two fingers with chainsaw, due to which his handcuffs breaks. He moves forward, but his foot slips and falls down. His own foot gets cut with this chainsaw. As soon as he gets the chance, he kills that guard too, and bullets get finished. He reaches another room by running. He sees dead bodies everywhere. Suddenly, someone comes there, so he hides in those dead bodies. That man was taking these dead bodies to put somewhere else. There, Paxton finds Josh's dead body too. Somehow, he maintains his senses and kills that man too. He escapes from there, and by using elevator, he comes to the first floor. There, he hides in a room and finds some good claws there and tries them on. He finds a card in pocket of a dress, which contained address of that place and name, which was a night hunting. Behind that card, different rates of people from different countries were mentioned. American people had the highest rate. Paxton was reading everything. When a man comes, but he considers Paxton as a client. He tells that he found a Japanese girl and he has planned many things about her. Here he's talking about... Kena. As soon as he goes, Pixtons takes his gun and runs outside. He sees a car with its keys in it. While he was sitting in the car, he hears Anna screaming. He goes in to rescue her immediately. As he goes in the room, he sees the same man who is now burning her face with blowtorch. He kills that man too. Kana was in a lot of pain because half of her eye was out. To save her life, Paxton's cuts off her eye from her body. This creates a lot of disturbance. A very disturbing scene. Somehow they come outside by saving their lives with great difficulty and flee in a car, pursued by guards. While driving, Paxton runs over Natalia. As Vetlana and Alex, he kills them by hitting with car. Paxton wanted to go to station, but on the way, police was checking. Police was with them. A police officer sees Paxton in a car, and as soon as he heads toward him, they leave the car and run away. They walk by foot and at last reach the station, but they see many people in search of them there. There, in mirror, Kenna sees her face and gets disheartened. She attempts suicide by jumping in front of a coming train. Seeing this incident, many people gather there. Paxton finds a way to escape and availing the chance. He gets on the train and train starts moving. On this train, he hears the voice of the same businessman. On which station, this man stops. Paxton follows him there. He was with his daughter. They both use separate toilets. That man waits for her daughter for a long time outside the bathroom. When she doesn't come out, she goes inside and sees that she wasn't there. There was only her toy. He looks for his daughter at random, but she is nowhere to be found. On the other side, Paxton kidnaps his daughter and take her with him on the train. That man keeps searching for his daughter. The club, which is shown in this movie, is a club where rich people make people from different countries. Their prey to vent their anger and frustration and kill them. People from various countries have varying rates. American people carry the highest rate because they hate them a lot. They have been doing this business for a long time ago, and police was also with them. They provide girls to the visitants and kills them. Movie ends here.